Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Fisca Karma. You may know it from its starring role in Two and a Half Men, but here in the real world, the question is, is there room in the marketplace for a hybrid car that costs $100,000, has 22-inch wheels, the biggest you can get in any production car, and gets 20 miles a gallon when it's running on gas and 52 when it's in electric mode? Well, let's find out together. Basically, we wanted to create the first environmental friendly cars without any compromise. And that's why we chose to have it go about 40 to 50 miles in electric. The average commute in the US, by the way, is 29 and a half miles. You can look that up on the uh, official government website. Uh, so as long as you have more than 30 miles, we feel that's kind of the ideal battery size to carry around and to commute to and from work without using a drop of gasoline. Think of the Karma, at least in terms of the drivetrain, as a Chevy Volt on steroids, because you can drive about 40 miles in pure electric mode, and you can plug it in, charge it up overnight, and then drive it again without ever having to use any gasoline. We have very high torque. And it's, it's an amazing amount. It's, it's over 900 foot pounds. You know, we're basically able to start off the car like it's in fourth gear. So we're just going completely you know, from zero to 125, all one gear, no shifting, and, and our high torque electric motors let us do that. Now the first thing you notice when you get in the Fisker Karma is just what a massive car it is. We're talking subcompact on the inside, Chevy Suburban on the outside. Under the hood, you might be surprised to find a two liter turbocharged direct injected engine that is, well, sourced from General Motors. So if you think about Fisco Automotive, that is our brand defining car. And that is why we made this car so radical in its proportion and its looks. Because this is what we are about. We're about ultimate beauty. And we needed to create, and we wanted to create a car that was way more dramatic and way more beautiful and made way beyond average in the class that we go into. If the car looks familiar to you, it's because uh, the designer and the owner and the man behind this car used to be a designer for BMW, so there's certainly a lot of BMW influence in the car. He is also responsible for designing the Austin Martin Vantage and the DB9, so in a way, this is kind of a hybrid between a DB9 and a BMW. We asked Goodyear to create special high-profile tires uh, which uh, the only other car you kind of would see that on would be a Rolls-Royce, which also have very large wheels but high-profile tires. What's really surprising is when you put 22-inch wheels on a car, I mean, these are steamrollers, then you'd think that the ride would be very harsh. But because this car is such a long wheelbase and because it's so heavy, it's actually quite good. Do you hear that? Well, that is a signature sound of the Fisca Karma. Not too long from now, all electric cars, when they're in pure electric mode, will have to have some kind of a sound so that you know they're coming. No more sneaking up and scaring people. With two electric motors powering the rear wheels and a combined 400 horsepower, Fisker says the Karma will get to 60 in just over six seconds. Fisker also says they think it will compete with cars like the Porsche Panamera. Pacific Coast Highway ahead of me, the hills of Malibu to my left, the Pacific Ocean to my right, and Hollywood is, well, half hour away. What is there not to like about this? Tell me, what is there not to like? And just in case you're wondering, Fisker has built about 1,500 Karmas so far. And they have 80 dealerships, 40 in America and 40 in Europe. So if you want a Karma, all it takes is a check for around $100,000. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Car. See you next time.